I think entrepreneurship has got little to do with your background. Uh, I think it's got to do with it's got to do more with you know what you're passionate about and so and so forth. In my case, I was very passionate about creating something from scratch. You know, and I think IIT trains you to be very confident in life. I think that's the biggest contribution in my view that you know a college like IIT makes to your life. So I'm very thankful to my alma mater on you know how they've trained me. Um, right out of college, I joined financial services. Uh, I was always excited about stocks and so and so forth. Uh, so I joined Lehman Brothers, um, worked there for a few months, and then. This was in 2007 and 2008. The crash happened, so I moved to uh, investment banking and then private equity side uh, eventually. I loved raising capital for startups, but at the same time, I always felt like you know I was playing a role on the sidelines. I wasn't. I was never in the middle of it. The person in the arena matters the most, and that's the role I was really missing. And so entrepreneurship was very high on the cards. And you know, one of the other things I would say that moved me. Or made me take the plunge was I call it guy next door effect. Uh, basically, a uh, lot of people from my college and hostels had become entrepreneurs already, and I thought they were doing pretty well. The choice of industry, which is beauty versus something else, is actually a very very business choice. In my view, I think an entrepreneur, uh, most successful entrepreneurs, start businesses because they want to solve a consumer's problem. They don't necessarily have to suffer from the same problem. I think people are just very busy doing experiments, so there is no conversation around failure. To be honest with you, I mean, we don't discuss it. We just live. We just move on. You know, like that's how the culture is. I'm also just reflecting on as you're asking me these questions. Sometimes we we go back to the drawing board and understand why this big thing failed, but in many cases we have a quarterly cadence on experiments. We follow a. Uh, a very objective process of OKRs, uh, objectives and key results, um, and so in that we lay down all the experiments that we want to do for the next quarter. In some cases, we look back and understand why did it not succeed? Could we have done it differently? So then it becomes an experiment for the next quarter again. In some cases, we just move on, saying you know we 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 thought we would get lucky here and. You know, it it didn't work out, and it's okay. We just move on and 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 do more experiments. We've just started our offline experiment of setting up our own stores. Um, as of now, we just have two stores live in Delhi. Uh, and you know, you don't necessarily have to go outside of Delhi to attract middle class uh, customers. Um, every part of a city has different tiers of customers. and so mumbai has many middle class consumers who would love to get more value for their money so does delhi so we happen to have started in delhi we are going zip code by zip code wise or pin code by pin code wise and figuring out where our brand is strong and where should our next store be i think from 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 a consumer's point of view the biggest differentiation a consumer sees at purple is um is if you are a middle class consumer if you are a more value seeking consumer you basically see purple as a very beautiful app that engages you very well so i'll give you an example of a lady a customer in lucknow uh, think of her as like a house she's a uh, you know she's an at home mother uh, young mother uh, you know i think her morning routine is and this is where education has played a huge role and we've played a huge role in beauty education Uh, her morning routine is ctsm she cleanses her face she uses a toner she uses a serum and she uses a moisturizer all of this comes in total of 800 bucks so it's not very expensive for her to buy but these are hitherto products that she had never imagined that she will be able to buy at very high quality from a brand like good vibes so for this consumer uh, we've actually acted like somebody who educates her using youtube uh videos and instagram videos we we released two videos uh one with a regular normal girl next door and the video was called uh kajal lagane ke chhe aasan tarike and the same video we released in english with a tv actress um it was uh, you know six ways to use your kajal yeah 
you know our english video went to 6 million views our hindi video went to 27 million views content plays a huge role in education it's a very standard thing that if you improve the vocabulary of a consumer about these things their propensity to try and buy these new products goes up having unique supply on your platform is actually more important than private labels yeah um and so we never called our own brands as labels we actually called them as private brands uh because they all stand for some philosophy or the other they all when the consumers buys them there is a certain expectation that this consumer has that this product will turn out to be this way yeah uh so i think unique supply or exclusive supply for any platform is really good if that supply happens to be high gross margin it's even better so it's not just a profitability question it's actually your reason to existence question if you're selling what everybody else is selling why should a consumer buy from you and so you continuously innovate on your service levels you also innovate on what products you are selling to your consumer and private brands happens to be a way to differentiate yourself if you're running a b2 b2c company uh, you know if you're running a direct to consumer company or a business to consumer company uh you should not stop marketing i think what you should definitely do in these times is is uh, you know sharpen your ads you know reduce your budgets by 10% see what imp- impact does it have on your revenue if it has zero impact on your revenue maybe that money was going waste reduce it by further 10% you know see what is the impact it has on your revenue maybe it has very little impact on your revenue so i am saying all the wastage that was happening last year because of easy availability of cash today you can actually reduce remove that wastage completely by being very frugal and by being pragmatic about how you spend those dollars so i wouldn't say that you should stop advertising and focus only on product of course you have to fix your product if it's broken you shouldn't advertise but at the same time if you're advertising you should become significantly more efficient this year than what you were doing last year i think we want to be a profitable company uh, before we go ipo uh i also don't want us to do a small ipo but to do a large ipo because i i think as a stock if you get covered by large brokerage houses or research houses there is better demand for your stock um and so look uh, perhaps in uh, you know 3 to 4 years when we are a much larger company we are probably 3 4x our current size we are also profitable we have predictability of earnings uh, is when we would love to go ipo i think till that time we should wait and you know build a much solid business than what we've built so far 5 to 7000 crores is what i'm looking at and if once that starts to happen then we'll definitely go for it i work with very like minded people you're an average of you're the average of five closest people you work with i think if they keep fueling your ambition you know you keep staying motivated at the game i keep setting goals for myself every 5 years get to a gmv of 5 to 7000 crores take the company public provide exit to some investors while many investors will continue to be on the journey with us my ambition is i want to build the largest beauty company out of india uh, for the world high empathy uh, or i would say empathetic um ambitious what should i say family man uh fourth would be humility inside out leadership by rajiv sare zameen par uh, it's a brand in feminine hygiene space i call it it's called karmizi it's my moisturizing thing karain murti Yeah.